In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up Microsoft multi-factor authentication using a one-time password keychain fob instead of the Microsoft Authenticator app on a mobile device. So what you're going to do is sign into your account, and then you will be prompted to enter a code that will come from your keychain fob. So go ahead and get your one-time password keychain fob out. You're going to press the power button on that, which will then display a six-digit code that you can enter on this screen. That code will remain on the device for 30 seconds, and you can even see a little countdown meter on the left side of the device that will show you how much time you have remaining. As you key in those digits, you can then click Verify to complete this first step. The second step of registering your key fob is to set up a backup phone number. To get to that step, click Next. Next, on the phone setup page, choose whether you'd like to receive a text message or a phone call. Enter the number you'd like used, and then select Next. If you opt for a text message, make sure to use a phone number that can receive texts. Now, enter the code provided by the text message sent to your phone. Then, select Next. You'll see a confirmation message that looks like this once you have successfully registered a phone backup. Now, select Next. On this final screen, you'll see a success message showing that you have successfully set up your one-time password key fob and a phone backup. Remember, you'll want to attach your fob to a keychain or something else that you'll have with you each day so that you can use it to get one-time passwords when prompted by Microsoft Authentication.